challenging to have all these amazing superheroes together on the screen to tell this big epic story with action and spectacle, but also a lot of character. And I think Zach does an amazing job balancing all of that out. Wait until the camera comes around, Ben. It is super exciting to finally bring all these superheroes, the Justice League, to the screen for the first time. This is amazing. This is crazy. The day we were all up on the wall for the first time, it was like watching my eight-year-old dreams come true. It took me back to those days watching the cartoons. I almost shed a tear. I will say I held it together pretty good, but it's groundbreaking. Wow, it's like a cave. Like a bat cave. I swear I've been blacking out and entering comic frames. Mary and living in the world of this invented universe and then coming to, like, where am I? Very hard to describe the feeling when you look out and you see that Alex Ross painting and you see it in front of you and it's these real people. It's so amazing. He's back. I had this moment the other day on set where I looked up and I saw Jason, Gal, Ben, and Ezra and Ray there, and I thought, this is a piece of history happening right now, and I'm lucky enough to be a part of it. Well, I knew you didn't bring me back because you like me. I don't. Ah. It's interesting because pop culture has chewed up and spit out so many pop icons over the years. That's part of what pop culture does, is sort of consume characters and icons and ideas and start with them looking cool and interesting and when it's done with them they seem retro and then they seem just absurd and goofy and hopelessly dated and a lot of these core DC characters still don't seem dated. They somehow still work in stories today and I think that's just the mark of characters that are very well drawn that they still have this kind of resonance. The fun and beauty of comic books is that when it's a shared universe, you're really standing on the shoulders of these creative giants before you, and everyone acknowledges and understands that their ideas will be used and changed and evolved to kind of further this giant storyline that we're all creating. My man! As comic book storytellers, we've been telling stories for these characters for over 50 years. So there's so many stories out there, so many great touch points for people to tap into and pull the ideas out and mold and create it to what works best for whatever medium, what works best for television, what works best for the screen. So I'm gonna be interested where they take them. We should always have new versions. We should always make the books relevant to the current generation. Keep the characters up to date. Don't let them become your granddaddy superhero. You need characters who reflect the modern age. Slowpoke. Oh, it's on. I've been really blessed to be part of the evolution of the DC universe. You have these characters and you get to play with their motivations and as long as you honor the canon, there's still a lot left that you can do. And that's a lot of fun. Big round table. Six chairs, right there. But room for more.